Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing today's coding question, which was asked in Accenture exam. Okay, so this exam happened today only, that is on 15th November 2024, and the coding question that I will be discussing in this video was asked in slot one. Okay, so make sure to watch this video till the end because you will get to know the different type of questions which are getting asked in the exam, as well as uh, in the middle part of this video, I will be telling you about the resources which you can use to prepare for your upcoming Accenture exam. So make make sure to watch this video till the end. Don't skip any part of it. Okay, and guys, I will continue to make such videos for different different companies on my channel. So don't miss any of these updates. Make sure to be present on this channel. So for that, do hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. And guys, do join this Telegram group also. This is a dedicated Telegram group for 2025 batch students. Okay, so all the discussions regarding different companies are happening in this particular group. So make sure to join it. The links you can find in the description box as as well as in the i button so guys now let's start this video and before starting the video do hit that like button okay so guys first of all i will be discussing the question then the approach of this question and finally the coding part of this question this question is again on the easier side okay since these accenture exam are going on campus so therefore the coding questions which are getting asked are slightly on the easier side so let's just discuss the question first we are given two positive integers num1 and num2 the task is to find the product of the two numbers on a 12 hour clock rather than on a number line okay assume the clock starts from 0 hours to 11 hours okay so what we are given we are given a number okay two numbers we are given we will multiply the number okay and try to fit it in in the 12 hour clock okay not on a 24 hour clock we will try to fit on a 12 hour clock but this means that 12 will be represented by 0 okay 12th hour will be represented by 0 and 11th hour will be represented by 11 only okay so no issues so <laughs> let's just see with the help of an example so we are given num1 equal to 3 num2 equal to 7 okay but does 3 into 7 we will first multiply the number okay we will, it is 3 into 7 equal to 21 now this this 21 is 9 o'clock in the 24 hour clock but we have to convert this 21 into 12 hour clock so what it will be it will be 9 okay the time in a 12 hour clock is 9 only so we know that 21 is 9 only okay in the 12 hour clock okay this is the explanation of it next example is num1 is 3 num2 is 4 so 3 into 4 is 12 okay but in a 12 hour clock how 12 is represented it is represented as 0 okay it is represented as 0 so we will map 12 to 0 so two numbers we will be multiplying with each other and try to fit them in a 12 hour clock how we will do it the answer is very easy so i will not tell you the approach of it i will directly jump towards the solution and you will find you will find that okay this particular question was so so easy okay so now let's just quickly move towards the solution of this particular question so guys before moving ahead i would like to tell you that an, on our top mid page at code bashers we have accenture preparation material for 2025 batch yesterday only we have launched it okay so in these particular preparation material we have total seven sections covered that is English ability, critical reasoning and abstract reasoning, common application and MS office, pseudocodes, network security and cloud coding questions. So for all these uh, sections, we have around 110 plus questions for all these sections. And these questions are previously asked in Accenture only. So if I show you the sample of let's suppose common application and MS office. So this is the sample of this particular PDF. So in this, you can see we have the question, we have the options, we have the right answer for it. Okay. So I know many of you are struggling for different, different sections while preparing for Accenture because there is no one place at which you can find all the resources. So the main idea behind this material was to make it structured material as well as to give all the co previously asked questions for different, different sections at one place only. And guys, believe me, many of these questions do repeat in the exam and these are previously asked questions of Accenture only. So the once you are prepare, preparing for your exam, you can prepare for this material. It's highly reliable and it's at a very nominal price of rupees 99. So I've shown you the sample for common application MS office that we have question, we have options, we have correct answer around 110 questions for MS office we have. If I will show you the sample of Accenture coding PDF. So here 60 plus previously asked coding questions are there. Here proper question will be there sample input sample output is there explanation is there and the code is also there so these are well structured material that we have prepared okay keeping in mind the recent questions asked in accenture so if you are interested you are preparing for your 
Accenture exam, you can check out this material. The link you can find in the description box and it is a very nominal price of Rs. 99. Okay, if you are interested, do check them out. The links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So now, okay, so guys, for saving time, I will I have already written the code. The code is very simple. It's just a 14 line answer. You will see what we are doing. We are first taking two numbers as input. Uh, we are then doing product of those two numbers and then we are simply doing product mod 12. Okay. Why, why we have done product mod 12? Because see, whenever we have a fixed size window, okay, Where, whatever will be the output of the product, we have to bring it to a fixed size window of 0 to 12, 0 to 11. So therefore, we are doing mod 12. So let's just see with the help of the example. We will quickly see with the help of the example here. Uh, just a second. So we are, let's just do 3 into 7. 3 into 7 will come as 21 and 21 mod 12 is 9. Okay, so our answer is 9 as we have seen in the sample input. Let's just do 3 into 4. 3 into 4 will come as 12. But when we will do mod 12, it should be coming as 0. And that is our required answer. So this particular code, we can see output is 0. So this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you. Okay, it's just very small code. Okay, since these are extensive on-campus questions, questions. So therefore, the coding questions are very simple. Okay, so this was it for this video. But guys, do make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because I will continue to make more such videos about Accenture or different different companies okay and do join this telegram group this telegram group is dedicated for 2025 batch students the links you can find in the description box as well as in the i button oh, as well as in the pinned comment and also i have already told you about the Accenture preparation material that we have so if you have up, uh, your exam in upcoming days then you can check that material also again the links you can find in the description box as well or in the pinned comment thank you for watching this video